Hey everybody, it's Clone Clock Seven Nine, and I wanted to give a little uh thing to say about um dot exe type of indie games. Now this might seem a little bit excuse me, might seem a little bit null and void considering it's been a few years since we've ever played a dot exe game, but I figured I should bring bring it up because I um over, for a while I actually did get a few requests of uh some people. Asking me to play like a .exe game, like I remember a comment of someone wanting me to play Ben Error. Thing is though, as we look at this picture of I Am God Sonic.exe, Sonic.exe was actually the original .exe game, and in fact it was a game that was based off of a creepypasta. And basically any .exe game that came after that, it was basically just like, um, it was basically just like, uh, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, pretty much. The, uh, and from what I heard, Sonic.exe Creepypasta is not 100% spectacular. Of course, I wouldn't know that because I haven't read it yet, but I think the re- but I think the reason it's called .exe is because in the Creepypasta, the game- in the- it's like the creep- it's- the .exe part isn't just all about blood and just killing and stuff like that. The EXE part is pro is most likely referring to to the fact that in the creepypasta the main character received a disc, which had you know an EXE file on it, but and also the fact that since the the story is about Sonic torturing his friends, you know like EXE like the EXE stands for executable like execution, and that's why he like kills his friends, and yeah that's. Yeah, that's honestly why Sonic.exe is prob is, is probably the second best .exe out there. Um, first one goes to Mario.exe personally. Um, but but yeah, I just wanted to say that about .exe games because to be honest, they're not all that spectacular. They're basically just like Five Minutes of Freddy's fan games. So yeah. All right. See you then.